Hi everybody, how's it going? Uh, it's Jess and I'm here to do a cross stitch update video. Um, first things first, there seems to be some yard work going on outside. Uh, really great timing. Um, I hope that you can't hear them, but if you do, that's what that noise is. Um, I'll try to mess with the audio so that that's not so prevalent. But it, it can't be helped at this point. Um, also, I'm sorry that I didn't do a video earlier in September. I had every intentions of doing so. It's just that with school and stitching and football and other crazy stuff going on, I just I didn't have a chance to sit down and film until today. Um, so that's that was really the only reason I have for that. I have stitched a lot, and I've made a lot of progress. Um, I finished up all of my smalls. Um, all of my small projects that I've been working on, and I'm really kind of proud of that, so yay me, pat on the back. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get into showing you the progress that I've made in my finishes. Um, the first one I've got is my Heaven and Earth Design Quick Stitch Autumn Owl, and as you can see, I'm about, I've got about half the page left to finish up this second page. Um, and I recently picked this back up again just because I was working on those smaller projects, like I said. Um, but still really enjoying this one. I think that my Heaven and Earth designs are actually going to go away for a little while once I finish this page. Um, just because I've got some Christmas, some holiday stuff to work on. And I need to be focusing on those because those have deadlines. So that's that. Uh, the next one I have is Home Sweet Home, and this was in a kit from Anchor, and um, I knocked this one out real quick. Uh, once I picked it back up, it was it was a really really fast finish, um, and I'm really looking forward to getting it framed and hung up near our door. And I'll be sure to show you that uh, once it's once it's all the way finished. Um, so yeah, the next one is this little Halloween owl that I had mentioned in my last video that I was going to start over on a higher thread count um, because I didn't like it on the Ada, and I did that. So this is on 28 count Monaco, just like almost everything else. Um, and it was actually, it was really fast to finish up. I just put on my audiobook and stitched away and before you know it, it was done. Um, as you can see, the reason why you see the feathering on the stitches is like um, like around his wings and around his face. Um, that was really the reason that I started over, just because I wanted that to look how it does. So that's that. So I'm going to finish this up as a card and send it off to my aunt in time for Halloween. And then the next one I have to show you, um, I don't actually have with me, but I'm going to stick a picture right there. Um, that is the iris that I decided to do for Danny's grandma. Um, finished that one up real fast and then got it in an aperture card that Danny constructed. Um, and then we sent that off. Um, so once I go to visit her, I'll be sure to take a picture of the finished project um, with the card and all just so that you all can see the, uh, the aperture and, and what Danny did. It, it looks really nice. I'm really excited about it. Um, and I hope she really enjoys it. I haven't spoken to her since probably before her surgery, so I hope she liked it, um, but we'll see. The next one that I have was a new start, and then I finished it, I think, either the day after or two days after, and it is this here, and it says, wine a bit, wine a bit, you'll feel better. This is a Lizzie Kate design. Um, Lizzie Kate's almost always uh, require uh, specialty threads like Weeks Dye Works and Crescent Colors. Um, I decided to do the DMC conversion, um, and I think it looks pretty nice. Um, just because I didn't want to, I didn't want to spend that much for this one. Um, I don't have a stash of, of threads like that, so I just decided that the DMC would would be sufficient. Um, 
I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this one. I just needed something to work on while we were watching football one day. Um, originally, it was going to go to a friend who wasn't feeling well, but that was four months ago. And so she's, she's fine now. Um, so who knows? Maybe, maybe I'll find an occasion for this one. And then the last one I have to show is from the Cross Stitch Crazy magazine, I believe. And I'll just go ahead and show what I've got. And this one I've got on my Millennium frame, obviously. Not a whole lot done here. Um, these are actually two separate pieces. So there's this one and then there's, if you can see the yellow down there, that's another one. Um, and these are these. Just little letters with, um, with butterflies. Um, I have three nieces, um, Heather, Morgan, and Layla, and so I'm doing these for them. Um, Heather and Morgan are twins, and they're four, and Layla will be one in October. Um, and what I think I'm going to do with them, actually, I got off the magazine pages itself. So I think I'm going to put them on little um, sketch pads like that so that they can color and draw and, and whatnot. Um, but uh, maybe hold Layla's for a little while since she's, she's a little young to be coloring just yet. Maybe, I don't know. Um, so that's that. Um, these are on 16 count cream Ada that I had lying around. Um, and so that's what I'm working on for them. Um, I think those are going to be Christmas gifts, but they'll be, they'll be quick finishes as soon as I can find some plain color sketch pads. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I've got. Um, I think by the time I do my next video, I'm going to have a couple of new starts. One for myself and one that I'm doing for somebody else for Christmas. Um, but we'll see. We'll see about that. I'm hoping that my next video will come sooner, but I, you know, I've said this before. Um, so we'll, we'll see what happens. And I guess I will see you guys then. So take care and uh, happy stitching.